time when I was alone, nowhere to go. No place to call home. My okay, hold on, hold on. Who is so tired of that intro? I'm pretty much gonna shorten it in this video. Here you go. When someone told me you should do a story time on the first time you drank, it touched me because my first memory of the first time I drank was with someone who is now missing. Like, she's not here. She's gone. Her name's Elaine Park. Um, there's a Facebook page for her that's Help Find Elaine Park. I'll link it down below, and I will link her GoFundMe account as well. But she basically, she went missing in Malibu, and no one has been able to find her. But I have a lot of memories with this girl. I'll put some pictures in this video as well. We grew up together doing basketball, dance classes. We, like, she was someone I could trust. She was such a good soul. She was so friendly to everyone at school. Like, there's no one in our class that she wouldn't try to reach out to and be friendly with. And there has been no leads up to her disappearance and it makes me really sad. This was my first memory of the first time I ever drank. This is my story about the first time I ever drank and she was in it. So I'm gonna share that with you guys and I hope if you see this video it can spread to one other person who didn't know about Elaine and didn't know that she was gone and if you have any leads please 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 reach out to the police station let anyone know if you have seen her or if there is any way that we can find her like just not knowing what happened to her is I know it's eating away a lot of people inside and it's really hard to think someone who I grew up with she's just gone like we don't know what happened to her okay back to the story before I get super emotional we went to this reunion dance thing and me and Elaine went together we were the two who were each other's age and went to the same school together and we hung out the whole time and my family friend um, kept bringing us drinks to the bathroom because everyone was drinking and we were of course underaged. This was like freshman, end of freshman year and we went to the bathroom and we started, she kept bringing us drinks. It was like a dark whiskey with like coke um, and we kept drinking and drinking in the bathroom and then we eventually like got pretty buzzed like and that was our first time drinking so of course every girl over exaggerates it when they're like oh my god so drunk and you're not even really that drunk but we were pretty buzzed it wasn't like blackout drunk or anything but we were we were feeling it right for our first time like little freshman in high school oh my god anyway so we basically like just danced and like had a bunch of fun all night at that reunion on the way home we drove by my ex-boyfriend's house um, she knew I was having like troubles with him I'm pretty sure everyone knew I that was relationship from hell. That's another story for another day. But, um, yeah, I think we TP'd his house. My family friend, I'm not going to say her name, obviously. Um, but my family friend who drove us there, she was, like, my go-to TP person. Like, if I needed to go somewhere at night, she would come pick me up during high school. Like, that's how it was. Um, so we basically, like, picked up a bunch of, um, toilet paper from 7-Eleven down the street and then went up the street and TP'd him and it was like so much fun because I was like super buzzed and throwing TP everywhere and that was like one of the first times that I ever went TPing so that was a lot of fun and honestly I miss her just thinking about that just like I miss her so much and I'm so grateful that I have these memories with her and it makes me really happy. Second time I drink. I got drunk. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I got drunk. I got so drunk, I blacked out. Okay, let's start from the beginning. It was fresh, end of freshman year, going into sophomore year, it was that summer, so we were gonna be sophomores. Me and my three friends, my three friends and I, we all went to this guy's house and he had a bottle of Bacardi. And I didn't even know what alcohol, like what, what the names were or anything. The time before that with Elaine, I just had like some mixed drinks. But this time it was like Bacardi in the bottle. And I was like, oh my God, this hard liquor alcohol that I've ever seen before. So I thought I was cool and I thought I could take like shot after shot. Like I didn't care. I wanted to look so cool in front of this guy who was there in that friend group. 
and I had the biggest crush on him my whole freshman year and he was like one of the cool upperclassmen, you know, and I fucked it up. I'm pretty sure like halfway when I was getting really, really, really drunk, I was like saying out loud how cute he was and everything and my friends were saying like he thought I was cute too, but like 10 minutes passed and I was already so drunk I couldn't hold myself up. We were taking shots and shots and shots and I thought it was so cool, don't do this, don't do this, just don't drink with a bunch of random guys that you do not know that well. And I knew my friends who were there were gonna help me out if I needed it, like they were cool, they weren't shady friends, they weren't just gonna leave me behind. I couldn't even get up to go to the bathroom and I blacked out. I remember waking up in the morning and being like, what? happened what happened and they were like well you blacked out and you fell asleep on the bathroom floor all night and I do remember waking up once or twice during the night and once another one of the guy like the crush that I had on another one of his friends was trying to like kiss me and stuff in the bathroom while I was on the floor and I remember like screaming at him being like get off get off I don't feel good get off and my friends came in. I remember this part because that was when it like the alcohol was like somewhat through my system because I had thrown up so much of it already. But they were like, you need to get off of her. Like you need to get out. She like, what are you doing? You're an idiot. Like all this stuff. But basically it was pretty scary. Like why is this guy trying to hit on me while I'm blacked out drunk on your bathroom floor? Like you know I'm fucked up. That's just asking for trouble. I didn't confront that guy. I didn't even want anything to do with him and I never had anything to do with him after that situation. And it was like one of the worst experiences of my life and I hated getting drunk. I never wanted to drink after that experience. It was horrible, it was horrible. But of course I did after. I mean, everyone says after the first time they get drunk, blacked out drunk, that they're never gonna drink again, but they always do. It's true. I mean, the first time I drank, I'm so glad that I didn't get drunk. Like, it was just like buzzed. It was like a new feeling for you and everything. Like, that was fun. Just those memories were good. But the second time, the time that I actually got blacked out drunk, that was horrible. It was so bad. I didn't like the people I was with. I didn't like my memory of it. It was just like, it's a good story to tell. I mean, it is. It's like, it's funny to like look back on it now. But in that situation, it was scary for me. I didn't like where I was, I didn't feel comfortable where I was, I didn't 100% completely trust the people I was around. Not like the first time when I was with Elaine and my family friend, it was like people I was growing up with. I could trust them 100% no matter what, but these people, it was just, I didn't trust them, I didn't know them, it wasn't cool. If you're a freshman girl in high school, just don't drink, just avoid it. I do not condone it, don't do it. Just don't. This is my personal story time. I mean, I don't judge you if you've had similar things happen like this to you. I'll relate to you more, but I'm not saying that this is okay to do. Just don't underage drink. You're not supposed to. I'm already 21. Just don't do it. That is the end of my story time. I didn't want to make it too long, but I did want to share with you what happened. Yeah, everyone just wants to hear the first time you get drunk, right? <laughs> I have so many good story times that I want to share to you guys, but I don't know what you want to see, so please let me know. I have a lot of stories to tell from high school, and I want to be able to tell them to you guys, too, and have someone to relate to in that way. And the next time you guys see me, this whole thing will be covered. I'm getting a half sleeve. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm going this Friday, and I will also record that for you guys and leave it on this channel as well if you guys want to see any more please let me know and thank you for watching if you're not subscribed please subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do more videos like this i'll see you guys next time bye